Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. I'm actually gonna start my day just checking up on my frillies here. Of course, we've got Nova here, we've got Lilith up there, and of course we've got the nest box right over here. And uh, I can see right now that she's already full of eggs. You know, what basically happens when she lays is that she goes from looking like she has like marbles in her, M&Ms in her, uh, to looking really shrunken out. You can tell already way up there that she's still full of eggs. You can see little bulges in her and stuff like that, which is cool. So she hasn't laid yet, but again, and every single day I'm gonna start my day out to make sure that I don't lose a clutch of eggs from Lilith because I cannot wait to get baby frillies that's for sure I mean the ones from last year are ridiculous so I can't wait till we have some more eggs and then ultimately hatch some babies regardless we have a lot of work today you know the season is upon us where there's eggs there's babies there's all kinds of things happening so uh, let's buckle up push our problems aside and have a great day together. Oh my God, I'm excited guys. Looks like litter number two has arrived of skinks. This is actually what they would call a coffee northern blue tongue skink, which is just a, a polygenically bred thing to kind of have that kind of coffee brown look, but it was bred to a really nice red male. So these babies should be ridiculous. Last year, this particular female laid and her babies were crazy awesome once they hit four or five weeks old. And uh, this is even a better male. So let's just go ahead and see what we got here. Look around. Look at this little baby right here. Oh my God, it is so cute. They look really good too. So that's one little baby. And again, that coffee jean is just so beautiful and rich. Wow, look at that. So that's two little babies. What do we have here? Oh, look at these, a whole bunch over here. There's three little babies right here. Just look at how absolutely adorable it is. And like I said, these guys are gonna change so much. There's four, mama's being really good. A lot of times mama will start attacking you when you start to pull her baby out so she's being really well behaved right now see what we got here oh there's a whole bunch of babies look at all these babies back here holy moly she had a lot of babies whoo I tell you, here's a couple more here. We'll count them when we're done because I think the rest of them are all back in this corner right here. Let's see, we'll just kind of pull them out over here. Looks like we've got one more baby here. Maybe just one more. Oh, look at how cute they are. Hey, little guys, what are you doing? Okay, there's one little baby. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any more. Oh my God, they all look really nice and big. They're nice and perfect. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, here, oh, oh, there's two more babies over here. Look at that, two more. Wow, this is a really nice litter right here. Unbelievable. Let's just search around, that might be it. Is that it? Oh my gosh, mama, you did, oh, there's some more. Holy cow, there's two more. Oh my gosh, I thought maybe she was gonna have like four or five babies and she's got all those babies right now. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna search around and see if that's it. I think that that might actually be it. Oh my gosh, mama, you did good. And we'll get her rebound. And like I mentioned before, we wanna build some new enclosures for these guys where they got UV light, a little bit more kind of naturalistic. Something I'm gonna work on this summer a lot. But look at these babies. There's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 of them. Oh my gosh, 12. And they are rippers too. I mean, just look at the color on this one. Wow, I mean, all the color on these guys are just so absolutely beautiful. And look at how feisty they are. You little feisty monkeys, unbelievable. So we'll get these guys set up and literally they start eating within a day or so. Uh, interestingly enough, baby skinks will oftentimes eat their yolk sac if there's any yolk left and that's like their first meal. And then of course, within a day or two, they're crushing food and growing like mad. So we'll get these guys set up and I can promise you these are gonna be incredible here in another month or two, wow. I love baby skinks. It's going to be a fun year. On to the next type of eggs, right? You're back to gecko eggs? Yep, leopard gecko eggs All today. Right. <laughs> All right, so we're in week three again. Every week we've had more eggs, less slugs, more fertile eggs. So uh, yeah. I'll let you get to it and Should I'll check back. Should be a lot of eggs today. All Last right. week was kind of a slow week. So. Okay, so all right. Well, we'll check back with Jessica when she's done. Guys, you gotta check this out. This is pretty crazy. Obviously, I was just checking all the ball pythons, seeing if we had some eggs. And this girl actually laid two days ago. This was that yellow belly ball python that was bred to that extreme banana spider. And uh, I noticed she was just laying a little weird. And guess what? 
Let's see what she's got going on under here. Doo -doo! There's a golden egg down here. Oh my gosh, she literally laid another egg after I pulled this clutch. So remember how I always talk about that I like to look at the females, make sure there's no eggs left in them, whether they're bound up or anything like that. Obviously, I just didn't do that with this girl. It is real. I can't remember the last time that I pulled a clutch of ball pythons and then two days later found another egg. I mean, it's been years since something that has happened, but that's pretty darn cool. So, and it looks perfect. The egg looks absolutely amazing. So uh, good job, mama. I thought you only had eight eggs. Turns out she had nine. But we did get a couple clutches of good ball python that are late today. And of course, this girl here, oh my God, she is a pastel ghost ball python and she's wrapped around a beautiful clutch. Okay, mama, it's all right. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. You're okay, sweetheart. I'm just going to slowly unwrap her real quick. Come on, girl. Let's get those eggs, baby. Now, she was actually bred to a champagne ghost. So we should have some mimosas, which are ghost champagnes, as well as pastel mimosas, which are pastel champagne ghosts absolutely wonderful whoa mama she came out of there like a whoo tell you what oh come on mom come on you're okay boy she is protective of her eggs isn't she i've got to be careful of this girl come on mama you're all right i'm gonna just put this egg over here it's okay mama it's oh, oh come on come on whoo tell you what some mamas are upset and she's one of them that's for sure so i'm just going to get her eggs out of here really quick put this right here gosh it's a beautiful clutch whoa man i tell you what i've never seen a ball pipe that more protective than this it's okay mom and what we'll do is we'll get her cleaned up uh we sometimes have to take a little soap and water and get that egg smell off get that maternal instinct kind of shut down so that we can get her back onto food but mama you did such a good job wow i tell you what that's that's a protective mama right there and she had two four six eight good eggs of course this is that other egg here so eight good eggs no slugs that's pretty awesome again uh 57 days guys we're going to be cutting lots of eggs matter of fact i think the first clutch is about three weeks off for those of you people that are just fiending for snake egg cutting three weeks from now we get our first clutch and actually one more clutch today this is actually a pinstripe here and she's actually bred to a really beautiful male which is this mojave calico bee so it's a mojave it's a calico it's a pastel and it's a spider and of course breeding it to a pinstripe means there's another other gene to it so could produce some really cool babies let's see how many eggs she has okay mama let's see what you got going on here just get her kind of unwound a little bit looks like oh got some sluggers in there that's not too good oh tell you what there's a few good eggs that's no doubt about that but there's definitely some sluggers in there and that particular male actually that mojave calico bee actually i think he's had two or three clutches already and all of them have been a little bit shoddy when it comes to the actual fertility so he must not be doing really good for me this year but nevertheless we do still have four really beautiful eggs right there those are really awesome they're really good but we also have two four six bad eggs so that would have been a 10 egg clutch so we got four good ones six bad ones that's the way it goes again ups and downs of the breeding season. Nevertheless, still some pretty cool opportunity with these four eggs and hopefully some beautiful babies on the horizon. One of the big tasks for today for Lori is every day is you have to spot clean the colubrids, but it's not just about keeping the animals clean, right? I mean, that's a big part of it, but there's more to it than that. Yeah, it's just, it's really important to really look at them every day because then you can see subtle changes of whether they're feeding consistently, whether it looks like they're going into a shed, if they need something extra, uh, just because right now we want them at their optimum health and weight so they have good production. So yeah, it's just very important to really every day just kind of look, assess, and be on top of things. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and let Laura get to it, uh, do what she does best, which is uh, killing it this year with Colubrid. We got 179 eggs and 32 slugs today, which is trending in the right direction. Last time we checked, there were 80 slugs and I think a little less eggs. So fertility is going up, slugs are going down looking good what is going on everybody so uh today i'm actually doing a little bit of our socialization and behavior work with the one and only mango and kiwi i've got some delicious escargot oh yeah bonjour pretty much what i'm gonna try and do is actually try to get him out on my hand this time let me get started on this because uh man the more i the more the more i uh look at this the more i get hungry
he did he did nip me a little bit there uh, a little bit more my fault than his i'm sure he probably picked up the smell of that that snail on my hands is just like wow that's a bigger snail than what you're trying to hand me boy i'm gonna take that one it wasn't that bad he did nothing bleeding or anything like that but uh it was enough for me to be like okay well i uh, don't want to do that again i'm gonna try it again go on Ooh, you are a monster oh my god dude oh my gosh these guys are like little alligators this is crazy So that is what I call some serious success right here. So um, for me, this is really, really cool because now I also am able to uh, um, eventually get to a point where getting these guys out and more and, and physically handling them and working with them more often will actually also help for their health. It will help us also, you know, detect if anything's going wrong or anything like that. And then being more comfortable with us is half, it's half that battle. She, she's already ready for another one. What a cutie. But uh, man, I'm so, so glad that these guys are finally starting to get a little bit more habituated to dealing with us. And I hope for a few more weeks we may even actually be able to hold them without them trying to bite me like you uh like you saw with uh, mango there so i'll take a little nip over 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 a little bit of interaction like this any 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 day guess what time it is guys Kluber egg time Kluber egg time by the way thank you for everyone that was reaching out for uh the blues clue kind of intro bumper for this <laughs> this is pretty fun you guys came up with some pretty good ideas hopefully someone will actually send us a little clip or or jay will make one yeah i'm gonna try and make one tonight All so right, we'll, we'll see if we can do we'll see if we do this regardless this is actually a cream so a really pretty snake and not a very big snake and a very very oh gosh mama what is wrong it's okay girl you're upset not a big snake but a pretty big clutch this is a creamsicle corn that is het for scaleless bred to another creamsicle het for scaleless so should have some creamsicle scaleless in here and like i said a pretty big clutch for such a small girl wow i'm really surprised at how many eggs and how big they are i'm going to candle this egg right here but we've got two four six eight good eggs not a bad way to start next up we actually have a het black motley scaleless corn snake right here and it's actually bred to a really beautiful male here it's actually a motley scaleless corn snake i mean look at that thing that thing is a ripper so hopefully uh he will father some good eggs in here let's see what we have oh no that's not a good clutch at all of course uh, I keep telling you that we have this old group of hat scaleless this is one of them here again there's only six or eight animals but they have some fertility issues I don't know what's going on but uh, guys that's a bummer right there that is two four six bad eggs not even one good egg so no hope for any good babies from that one but uh, again ups and downs of breeding and again you know that's a female issue it's not a male issue because that scaleless motley corn has actually fathered some other good clutches so it just happens and again it's just one of those things that sometimes when you're early on in a mutation like those females were you have some other fertility issues that come on the more you outbreed the stronger that line comes this is actually a caramel hat for albino hat for motley scaleless so it's all kinds of crazy stuff and you can see that caramel is just that cool pattern right there and of course the albino caramels are what they call butter corn snakes so that's a beautiful girl not a very big girl but she had a really good clutch and by the way look at the male that she's bred to who doggy Look at that thing right there. That's an albino scaleless corn snake. That's actually het for motley as well. So could have some really cool animals hatch out of this clutch for sure. And it looked like this was a beautiful clutch right here. So I'm really happy about that. There's two, four, six, eight, ten good eggs in there. And uh, that wraps up the Kluber egg. So we had two good clutches, one bad clutch, but hey, I'll take it every day of the week. Hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, actually, here's a playlist of some Blue Tongue Skinks if you guys want to see more about them. Up here, you can support my podcast channel called Checking In. I sure do appreciate it. Over here, you can subscribe to the vlog channel. Turn those post notifications on for me if you don't mind. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.